today we are gonna start with our flower and I am gonna show you how to add stems and leaves. Hello, my talented artists. If you like this content, subscribe! Now you might have noticed that these petals also look like the shape of a leaf. So we can make leaves that are part of the garden. I'm just going to kind of press my leaves all around, but of course there's not just one color of green, there's all kinds of colors. So I am going to take my green and get a little blue, mix it in. And you might say, Miss Karen's, you're messing up the paints. They can be cleaned. It's okay. Especially if we're mixing colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, it doesn't make it too different. This used to be yellow, <laughs> and it still is underneath. My brush already has green on it, but I'm not going to wash it because I want another shade of green. So I'm going to make a lighter shade of green by mixing it in with my yellow. I'm going to mix and mix and mix, and now we're going to have a nice light green. If you want to make stems, you're going to have to use the skinny, skinny, skinny method. I don't want a big fat stem like that. You're going to hold your brush like it's an arrow pointing down at your paper. If you want to make stems, I want them to be skinny. So you're going to just barely touch the paper to make a nice skinny stem. They can be straight. They can be diagonal. They can be wiggly. They can be curvy. I'm going to make some more leaves off my stems and I can do little short leaves like that. Or I could do a bigger leaf that just sort of looks like it's coming from behind a flower or off a stem. I think I'll make some more short ones here. I'm just using the tip of my brush to press like it's a stamp. A lot going on and whoops, what was that kooky shape? I think I might go over that. I think I didn't have, I'm not paying attention. Okay, pay attention, Miss Karen. Slow and low, that is the tempo. There we go. And you can have shapes going off the page, of course. I'm gonna make a petal, right? That's not a petal, a leaf right there. And I think it looks pretty good. Now it's your turn to make leaves and thin stems. Let's see what you do. You can transform your artwork and make a beautiful garden.